How is it going guys? Slippery Jim here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Terraria. My first ever time playing Terraria and in the last episode it was pretty awesome because uh, among other things I fought Queen Bee a fair bit in the uh, different beehives that I found underground and uh, we got some really cool stuff like we got this bow here the bee's knees and uh, I've been testing this out with the uh with the wooden, regular wooden arrows, and it actually fires a ton of little bees that fly around, which is pretty awesome. Um, and this is our bee mount here as well, the honeyed goggles, and uh, it's pretty sweet. So uh, anyway, what uh, we're going to start off the episode with uh, doing today is a quick fishing quest. Hopefully it's a quick one. Have I even brought my fishing rod, actually, come to think of it? I'm not sure that I have. Oh yeah, I have. It's right there. Oh, good. I don't know if I've got any bait there, have I? I think we've got one grubby. Wow. I didn't bring any of my fishing gear. That was kind of a fail, and I haven't really cleared out a lot of stuff <laughs> from the last episode, um, to be honest. Um, yeah. So we've got one, one bait. We're, we're going to have to get very, very lucky here. Yeah, get own slime. But yeah, I'm really loving this bee mount. It's not the fastest, but it is pretty cool. I don't know if we'd be able to get all the way... Oh, we can fly all the way up here. I might be able to discover some more sky islands with this thing as well. But yeah, let's see if we can't catch ourselves the quest fish uh, from the sky island here. I can't even remember what it's called, to be honest. But uh, I'm sure we'll notice when we catch it, because it definitely tells you it's the quest item. I'm just hoping I don't run out of bait. Since I've only got one bait. <laughs> I've not come very well prepared for this fishing quest, to be honest. I was just like, uh, fooling around with the bee. Um, and decided to see what the quest was. These sky-like ones are usually pretty easy, actually, because I've got a very easy spot to fish up here. Doesn't seem you get hardly any um, enemies spawning up here either. Which is good. Come on. Sometimes you catch it almost first go, but our fishing power isn't very high right now. Because I haven't got my fishing gear on. So, fingers crossed. Oh, there we go. Harpy fish. Cool! Um, well, you know what? While we're up here, we've got a little bit of time to burn. I think it was this one over here. <clears throat> this one over here. That, uh... I think this one was the one that we didn't actually loot. So, I'm going to see if we can fly over there. I don't know if we'll be able to make it. But we'll, we'll definitely give it a red hot try. If I get up high enough, when it gets tired, I guess we could glide down a bit. Oh, I'm falling right now. God damn it, man! He's getting tired. Poor little bee. I guess with the with the person riding on his back, you can sort of understand. Um, where is this thing? It's directly above us here. So this is fairly low, this one, which is why we could fly up to that, I guess. But this might be a little bit more of a challenge. If I can get close enough to grapple. We'll see how we go. It, it ascends pretty quickly, this thing. Oh, we made it. Nice. So, yeah, this one I haven't actually um, checked out yet. Let's just go in here. So these things can't get me. Uh, what do we got here? We've got a fair bit of silver. Recall potion, gills potion, rope. Armored Lucky Horseshoe negates fall damage. Wow. That is pretty sweet, actually. Um, I guess we'll use it instead of the... Let's use it instead of the Bazoa. Poison damage is fairly specific. Um, and I want to take some of this furniture stuff as well, because why not? I just need to clear out my inventory a little bit here. I probably should have uh, sorted my inventory a little bit better. 
before starting this new episode. Um, where is my... There we go. Uh, put that there. And hopefully I've got space in the piggy bank. <clears throat> uh, favorite that, favorite that. Um, what do we put in here? Get rid of that. That in there. Get our bait in there. Yeah, it doesn't really leave a lot of space, but we'll pick up the chair. I don't know what this stone is. It looks pretty cool, actually. But yeah, all right. So now we pretty much are, um, don't have to worry about um, fall damage ever again while we're wearing, wearing this thing. Man, these B bee, these bee arrows are actually pretty sweet. So let's cruise across if we can to the other Sky Island. I don't know if we're going to get there. No. He's, uh, he's stuck it out again. Those my bees? <laughs> I don't know where those bees came from. But yeah, I really love a flying mount. It's pretty sweet. Okay, so we know the other one was over here. I kind of want to check for Sky Islands in this direction as well. Wait, what is that? The Witch Doctor. Well, that's right. The Witch Doctor... The Witch Doctor arrived in the last episode. Um, let's just recall and turn in that fish quest real quick. We got... Trout Monkey. I just got an achievement. What did we actually get, though? Did we get anything else exciting? Uh, mm, doesn't look like it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> let's uh, let's put away some of our stuff though. I can get rid of the um, outfits and whatnot. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything. Maybe I'll get rid of that gills potion. Alright, anyway, one of the things that I wanted to do today is go down to the underworld and try and get myself some of the underworld um, herbs that I saw but didn't get. So uh, we're going to do that. We're also going to look for more sky islands um, as well. So I'm going to have to get prepared for that. Um, let's just put these... I think we can actually make something with these... Um, these hearts. Let's just try this out because I think we need a jar. Let's have a look here. So that's nothing there. If we go over to a crafting table, uh, it's not giving me anything. Oh, we can make bee stuff. Huh. Hornet stuff. Summons a hornet to fight for you? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And then, then we've got B armor, which is increases your max number of minions. Increases minion damage. Where's the chest plate if we run out of um, max number of minions? That sounds good. So we need B wax for this. Um, and we did get this from fighting... I think we got that from fighting the Queen Bee, right? Not sure how we make it though. But uh, let's try out this uh, this Haunted Staff. Should be pretty awesome. So we got we've got a bee, a bee minion. So cool. So he'll attack stuff for us, I guess. Um, and this increases the max number of minions. Huh. So how do we get more of the beeswax? Uh, unless I had some already. Let's have a look in here. Hive. Maybe we can make it? Let's see. Let's see what the guide tells us. Because I want to get the full set of the, uh, the bee armor.
Okay, a beamer nation summons the queen bee. We need honey block, stingers, and hive. Hive and bottled honey. Okay, so we don't have to go down in a hive necessarily to summon her. That's pretty cool. But that's not exactly what I'm after here. What I'm after is... Hive wall? Um, how do we get the beeswax? This is the question. Have we got any other bee related stuff right now? Let's take a look. Maybe it's made out of the honey blocks? Something we could check out. Oh, the other thing is I wanted to see how you make, uh, what you can make with the, um, life crystals. Help me out here, Steve. Give me your knowledge. So we need, oh, we need four chains. And that gives us a heart lantern. Cool. Try that out. And let's see what we can make with the honey blocks. Honey platforms, honey door, honey sink, honey piano, honey chest, honey clock. So basically all the honey furniture. Uh, the beam nation. It's not telling me how to get the crispy honey block. That door looks really cool. Um, I'm guessing we just get it from the, from the, uh, from killing the queen bee. So we might need to kill her a few times. Um, but we should be able to craft ourselves the abomination. Um, that was, actually, let's make ourselves one of those things first. Heart, heart lantern. And we'll put that up, um. So I've got one of those over there. I might actually put it up here somewhere. Let's see. Uh, I didn't mean it. That's not what I wanted to do. Damn you. Where is it? Put it there. And then I'll actually move this star in a bottle over here. Because I do a lot of fighting down in this area here. And uh, these... These give you buffs, so we've got Star in a Bottle, Increased Mana Regen, Heart Lamp, Life Regen, and Increased, which is pretty cool. Um, and I should probably, actually, let's turn that Campfire on, that gives us Life Regen Increase as well. Interesting. Um, Alright. So, what do we need for that? That abomination thing again, I've forgotten already. I think it was stingers, wasn't it? Stingers. Honey blocks. Honey blocks. I, I might actually make a second one of these for the other side of my base, but um, let's put the chains, leftover chains back in here if we've got any. Seeing any actually, but yeah, what was it? It was honey block. Was it something else? Pretty sure we needed more than that. Oh, I think we need the bottled honey, right? I don't know how many of these things we need to make, but put some spares in here. Uh, we've got that, we've got that, stingers, I've got a feeling there was a third thing. Maybe it was hive. Sorry, Beamer Nation, let's make, let's make three of these, because why not, right? We, we're going to need a bunch of these, I'm not sure exactly how much, but, um, 
So I don't have a specific platform over here, but maybe this area here would be okay for this. I don't think I have any nearby platforms set up really. Although this is one over here, but then I'll get those eaters of souls attacking me. So yeah, let's do this. Bring on the queen bee. I've got my uh I've got my bee attacking her at the same time, which is pretty cool. Uh oh. Yeah, I think the Demon Slide is a little bit better for this because it kills those, uh, those, those little bees that she shoots pretty quickly. But, but damn, these arrows though! These arrows feel pretty good. Let's get the Demon Slide out again. Because this thing's pretty legit. How much damage is my little dude doing? Let's, let's check him out. He's doing like 4 damage. Oh, he shoots little things at her. That's interesting. I don't think they do a lot of damage, though. Alright, we got this. We got this. Yeah! 10 gold. This is actually a pretty good way of getting gold. Uh, Alright, let's see what we got. So we got... Main thing I want is bee wax. We got we got a fair bit of bee wax, but we might as well kill a, another couple of these. Yeah. Oh, we got another bee's knees. What else did we get here? We got hard honeycomb equipable releases bees when damaged. <laughs> Interesting. I'm gonna try that out. Yeah, we definitely. And we got another bee's knees that we can sell, I guess. Summon the other one in. Where is my a beam of nation? Okay, this is the home stretch now. Oh, what did we get? We got we got two beekeepers. We got a hurtful one, which is actually better than the one I've got right now. Nice. So that actually does 29 melee damage. That's huge. Uh, what else? We got another hive one, which I don't need. Um, Queen bee mask, which I've already got. Pretty much, I think we've got all the drops. 59 beeswax, which is pretty awesome. So that's pretty much it. Pretty sure we've got everything that we can possibly get from the queen bee at this point. A little hornets running around killing stuff for me. Hornet stuff for the win. All right, <clears throat> so we should be able to make ourselves. Let's just sell the extra stuff off, though. So I've got space. Um, goodbye, beekeeper. And all right, this I think we can sell. And. Oh, it's got no value. Sucks. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it, right? Alright. Let's just quickly see what the fishing quest is right now. Actually, there's a... <clears throat> I've been collecting the butterflies. Sometimes quite a few of them spawn. Like that purple one, I don't think I've seen before. Purple Emperor. This is a sulfur one up here, I think, which I've, well, I've fairly common. Red Admiral. <clears throat> Getting quite the collection of butterflies going. I almost don't want to use them for um for bait. Julia. There's another one there. Zebra swallow swallowtail. I've I've had I've caught those before. Um oh maybe I did find a red admiral. Interesting. Uh, let's maybe put this compass rose in one of these, um, <clears throat> these places here. Oh, uh, the other thing that I, me I meant to do at some point is to bring the, um, the witch doctor over here. So I might actually give the witch doctor like this, this house right here. Let's just, uh, 
Zeringu, Zerigua, the witch doctor. He can run the bar here. Hang out with Steve, the guide. Look at all these butterflies. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy how many butterflies are hanging around the area right now. Oh, I didn't take any fall damage. It's so good. <laughs> I just realized. I have to be careful. I've always got in the back of my mind. I have to be careful that I don't um, fall to my death. But now I don't even have to worry about that. Yeah, pretty pretty good collection of butterflies. Uh, there's another one. <laughs> my goodness, what is going on with the butterflies today? Uh, what's your quest, buddy? Piranhas, caught in jungle. This should theoretically be pretty easy. Um, what time of day is it? It's 4 p.m. right now. We could probably do that one, actually. I just need to remember to bring my fishing gear this time. All right, but before we do that, we're going we're gonna to remember to craft the bee stuff that we're going to make. Let's see here. So it's going to make the breastplate. Oh, I'm out of space. Uh, and I was going to put that away. Let's see here. Just chuck some of this stuff in here. Okay, that should give us enough space. So we can make the breast the uh the breastplate and the greaves. Was there anything else here? I think that's pretty much all the bee related stuff that we can craft right now. So we have the full bee set of armor, which is pretty sweet. Um and we'll try that out in a second. I'm just going to Man, there's still more butterflies. It's insane. I'm just gonna put the other chest here. Just so it matches. Nice and symmetrical and stuff like that. I'm always like thinking maybe I'll catch one that I haven't haven't caught before. I want to get old butterflies. I don't know how many different butterflies there are in this. Let's just chuck them in here. All right, and I'll try out the bee armor shortly. In fact, we might try it out now. Um, let's just put the other stuff, the jungle stuff in here. The jungle stuff is really, really good, but, um, I want to try out the full B set. I don't think it's going to give us as much defense, but, pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool. This is what it looks like, right here. It's got little wings on the head. Um, put our stuff back on. Yeah, so this, um, the set bonus that this gives is increases minion damage by 10%. Um, it also increases the number of minions and the minion damage. So theoretically, if we de-summon our Hornet, we can actually get, or we, we can actually summon three Hornets. Three Hornets to fight for us now. This is going to be epic. Alright, let's go catch our piranha anyway. I mean, I could fish in this spot right here, but it's got hardly any water in it, so it gives you a penalty to your fishing power. But if we go down, there's a spot I've got down, down here. Um, just here, I think. Where's my fishing hole? Right here. Yeah, it's right here. So I should be able to grab onto this rope. Is this it? Yep. Okay, let's get this fishing quest done. Hopefully. Those hornets just, just decimate everything in the area. And I'm going to put all of my fishing gear on the hat. Oh, this is going to despawn the extra hornets though, but whatever. Uh, and there was another item that this. Uh, what else have we got here? The vest. 
That should be pretty much all the uh, fishing stuff. Now we are at 65 fishing power, which is not that great, actually. I think because of my bait, it's not fantastic. But it's definitely better than, it, you know, if we didn't have all the gear on. Hopefully we can catch the right fish. There we go, the mudfish. So I might actually catch a spare one, spare one of these. Um, so if I put that in here, that should allow us to catch a second one. I'm pretty sure you can't catch more than two, because if it sees one in your actual inventory, if it sees one in your inventory, it won't let you catch another one. Come on, Hornet, do your job. You're supposed to be killing those things. Probably need to summon it outside the box. Oh, there we go, second one. Let's see what else we can catch here. With this cast. Bass. Okay, let's get rid of our fishing gear. We're going to put the bee stuff back on. Um, there. There. Groovy, and that's pretty much, I want to keep the rocker boots, um, maybe I'll swap those boots out for now, alright, let's do this, I'm going to summon in the extra, the extra hornets here, and we might as well use a recall potion, I guess I could have used that fishing potion in retrospect. Uh, Alright. Should get rid of some of this stuff in my inventory. Let's just chuck out the uh, the extra stuff that I've got here. Okay, we'd better turn in this quest. So we got high test fishing line. That's something new. Equipable material... Fishing line will never break. Holy crap, that's awesome. Because every now and then you don't catch a fish, even though it's on the line, which is must be the line breaking. Um, one thing that I do want to check is if I can combine anything else here. Let's see, where is the thingy over here? Because uh, I was hoping that we could combine like some of these, um, these tackle boxes and stuff like that into like a... A fishing type um, piece of equipment. Oh, he's got the Fish of Cthulhu uh, quest going now. I think I've got one of these here actually. Let's just turn that one in. So, what did we get that time? We got a fish hook. What does this do? It doesn't say what it does! Oh, hang on! I know what this is! This, <laughs> this is another... This is another grappling hook. I think this is a really good one. Oh, this has got three things on it as well. I'm not sure which one's better. The, uh, the one I've got. The, the um... The Ivy Whip. For this fish one. The fish one looks pretty cool though. We might use this for a while. Okay, I think I'm finally ready to uh, to head off. So, what we're going to be doing is heading down all the way down to the underworld here. And I want to actually look around and try and get some of the underworld plants and just generally explore. So hopefully I've got enough platforms and stuff like that. Uh, maybe I should actually get a little bit more wood. Let's uh, do this. Uh, a little bit scared, not going to lie. Uh, this is going to be... I probably should have brought more potions with me to be honest. Um... Because I haven't really brought anything except healing stuff. 
So yeah, I probably should have sold those as well at some point, but uh, it's all good. There's not really that many consequences to dying in this game, except for dropping the coins. Alright, now I probably should put a rope. I probably should have put, should put a rope here as well. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to... Let's break all of that. Let's just see if this works, first of all. I don't know if that's going to stop me taking fall damage there. Let's go up a little bit higher. This, <laughs> this could actually... Oh no, I don't take fall damage anyway. What am, what am I thinking? Oh my god. I forgot I had the horseshoe. Alright, let's let's kill these suckers. Everything must die. Uh so one thing I want to look out for is the little the little plants. Oh I'm just standing in lava, that's not smart. I don't know which direction I should go in here. Oh, there's so many so many things attacking me right now. Uh, maybe I should build a platform here, just to start with if I can, just to cross this little... We might start heading towards the edge of the map in this direction, just to see... Just to see what's out here. Let's make that. You die! Oh, there's some ore here as well, I noticed. Let's see if we can uh, mine this up. Oh, I'm getting burnt. Oh, I'm standing in lava. What am I stupid? Come on, man. Oh, I died. No. That was just a tiny bit of lava. I just got killed by a demon sickle. <laughs> From one of those other demons. Dang it. We can go back down though. I've got a feeling I'm going to die a lot in this uh, this trip. Uh, oh, we got some! Fire Blossom and Hellstone. Oh, but this is just the actual, this is just the actual uh, plant itself. I want the seeds. And I wouldn't mind getting some more of that Hellstone as well. Get some of that, because I imagine that that is going to craft some pretty awesome items. Let's just check with the guide what we can make potentially if we get enough of this stuff. Uh, obsidian stuff, flask of fire, melee attack set enemies on fire, hellstone brick, hellstone bar. It's not really giving me too much information here. I probably need to um, make a hellstone bar and then get him to tell me what I can make with that. Silver, I probably don't quite have enough to make a hellstone bar. Oh well, we can get some more of it anyway. So let's just, uh, let's just maybe rethink our potion situation and see what we can, see what we can use here. Maybe take that, mana regen, and yeah, that should, that should do. Um, I have got water walking potion, so I want to see if this works on lava. Um, <laughs> Because if it does, it's going to make things a lot easier. Um, let's just get the get our buff back from being well fed. Okay, let's go back down again. Oh, what's with that light there? I must have forgot. Oh, there's water in it. Huh. I have to fix this. At some point. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd have to drain the water out of that. Let's just try and drain the water down here. Uh, 
Um, drain the water out of that. I haven't got any grey brick on me right now. Have I got any of the uh, the um, yellow torches? I wonder. I wish I knew how to just have one. Anyway, all right, let's go back up, and I just want to fix this because otherwise it's going to annoy me. I don't know how I missed that one. It's pretty weird. So basically, um, I need gray, a little bit of gray brick. I actually have a little bit here, but that's probably not enough. And I want one stone wall. Gray brick. Probably need about, I don't know, three or four of these. That should do. Then we can fix this, um, can fix this right up. Yeah, I'm liking the fish hook. It's pretty cool. There it is right there, I think. Okay, oh, there's already a wall in there, actually. So I just need to put this here. And then I just need to put this here. And that is fixed. Okay, back to the underworld. So we want to take this, maybe? How long does this last? Seven minutes. That's pretty decent. And we want to take... Water walking, and there was another one I had. I thought I had a regen one, but maybe that that was the one. Oh, oh, it's mana regen. That's what it is. All right, so we should theoretically be, be able to um, walk on um, the lava, I think, if the water walk walking applies to lava. Let's just try this. Oh crap. Yep, it does. Beautiful. Alright. Um, okay, let's see if we can find ourselves some more of the... Um, what was it called? Fire Blossom or something? Definitely want to find us some of that. And I also want to get some of this Hellstone as well. Oh crap. Oh, so you can walk on it, but it's it still damages you. Um, if you get, if you sink down in it. Interesting. Let's go all the way to the edge of the map, I guess. Put some more fire blossom, but no fire blossom seeds. Nine silver. Oh, we got... We got a uh, freaking demon up there. Shoot. Oh crap. Oh crap. Come at me, bro. Gotcha. Oh, this is bad. Let's go away, bat. Die. <laughs> So much, so much hostile uh, life forms to deal with. Uh, oh, this! Uh, I really want to find myself some more of that hellstone. A good chunk that's safe to mine. It's a little bit over there. Maybe if I mine the stuff underneath the lava, it's not gonna make the lava flow up. It's gonna make it flow down. If that makes. <gasps> Yo.
All right, what do we got here? If there's any insects, how how close to the edge are we? Oh, we still got a fair way to go. Still on cooldown with my healing potion. So I'm not really. I'm finding some of these. Shoot. Finding fun of the, some of these f fire blossoms, but I'm not. I'm not getting any seeds so far. Like, I don't think it's the right time of day or something for these to be blooming. Some of this hellstone. Oh, come on, man! Oh, did it wear out? <laughs> I think that's what happened. Dang it! What's your quest, Charles? Oh, we've already, uh, we've already done it, have we? Fair enough, my friend. Did I have my... I don't think I summoned in my hornets. That probably would have helped a fair bit. After all, I am wearing the, um, the hornet armor. Fly, my pretties. Alright, let's go back down. I think I've still got... Um, let's see here. I've still got five water walking potions. I'd kind of like to explore all the way across to the, to the edge of the world. But so far, it's, it looks like it's just lava and ash. And like, monsters. I don't, I don't know... I'm assuming that those fire blossoms are good for um for potions. We should probably talk to the guide and see if he'll tell us what we can make with those potion wires. Alright, hopefully it's gonna be a little bit easier with my minions. Oh that's right. Did I take this already? Take that. Oh crap. <laughs> those, those things are pretty weird. Oh, here, here we go, fire blossom. But I didn't get any seeds though. It's a shame. We don't have to worry about fo about um falling damage at least, which is pretty awesome. I have got my uh. My bee mounts as well. We could, uh, I forgot about this. We can just fly around up in here. So, where did we get up to? Trying to find my death spot. It was over here somewhere. Oh no, it was way down there, actually. This th this thing is so slow. Like, uh, horizontally. It's okay vertically, but... It's almost better just... Just walking. These, these things, though, these hornets, these are really getting the job done for me. <laughs> like, it's like having a little squadron of fighter jets. This might be close to where I died. Yeah, that was that was where I died right there. I gotta gotta keep an eye on the uh, water walking timer because as soon as that runs out, I'm gonna start sinking, which is not good. Uh, Alright, here's some hellstone right here. Oh, it's burning me. How is it burning me? I've got I've got the obsidian uh, skull. I got melted. Yeah, it, it seems to burn while you mine it. But I got a little bit of bit of it though, so let's see if we can turn it into bars now. Uh, maybe we have to turn it into bricks first. Oh no, here we go. Hellstone brick. Iridescent brick. How do we make the bars? Maybe it's a different stuff? 
Hellstone. Maybe it's a different stuff that we need, like ore or something. Let's just go talk to you, the guide. So he's telling me we can make Hellstone Bar with Obsidian. Interesting. All right. So I do have some obsidian, I believe. Is it in here? Yes. Let's see if we can make a few bars then. Um... Hellstone. Did we need the bricks? Forgotten already. We need three Hellstone, one Obsidian. Oh, wait. Hellforge. Ah, uh, we need a health forge. How do we get a health forge? Oh, obsidian skin provides immunity to lava. Hell yeah. So that's fire blossom, water leaf, obsidian, and bottled water. The, uh, the traveling merchant just arrived, by the way. So let's see what he's got to sell. Also, if we can work out where he's hanging out right now. Oh, he's over here. Um, let's see. Tiger skin. Arcane rune wall. Pretty much got everything except for the building items, like the blocks and stuff, which I don't really care about at this point. Um, so let's go make some of that obsidian skin potion, because that sounds pretty good. Um, you can craft it here. So we just needed, uh, what was a water leaf? Fire Blossom, Bottled Water, and Obsidian. I'll just make a couple of them. Because I want to save the Obsidian for making the hell the um, Hellstone um, blocks or bars or whatever they are. Make, say, three of these? These last for four minutes. Maybe I'll make a couple of extras. Alright, so we've got the obsidian skin potion. That's definitely going to help. Combine that with the water walking potion. I don't know if it's going to stop us getting burnt mining the um, hellstone ore though. Hopefully it does. So we got pretty close to the edge of the world there. Hopefully we can make it all the way. I probably should make some sort of a platform that goes all the way along. from the, Probably from the highest part here. Just go all the way along at one level. Summon these guys. Try not to lose too much health. Let's use that, and that. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it.
Oh crap. I'm taking a fair bit of damage here. Was this the highest point here? Oh no, it's coming up. It's coming up. Just keep going across till this thing gets tired. And we'll just give it a little bit of a rest. Die! Give it another rest. Still not getting any seeds from those things. I, I don't think they're blooming at the moment. Um, this might be the highest point over here. Hellbats. Tell you what, those one is pretty sweet. Nice, sucker. So yeah, I think this point here might be the highest point so far. Uh, I want to make a platform at the highest point. Or, or just here, maybe. Where did I even die? Oh, it's over here. I should probably go back and get my coins. How much time have I got left? Pick that up. Obsidian uh, skin, one minute. Water walking, two minutes. Let's... Yeah, we should be okay for a little bit. We'll go all the way to the end and then we'll uh, figure out where we're going to build a platform. Just to have a massive platform the whole way across. It's just going to make it way easier. Um, Alright, let's quickly refresh the water walking and the obsidian skin. I think that this is the edge right here because I can't go any further back that way. So, I think that this, this point right here, or maybe, no, just over here is the, is the highest point right here. So, if I start building a platform at this level... Um, let's maybe level this off just a little bit. Um, this should be... I, I'm not going to have enough materials here, but we'll build it a little way. We'll, we'll build it as far as we can with what we've got. Get them, boys! Getting attacked by a lot of things right now. Die, bat! Oh crap. Uh, let's keep going across here. Yeah, I want. I basically want a platform that's going to be the entire length of the underworld. Because I think this would be a good place to fight bosses and stuff. Um, just because of, look, look how much length we've got to work with here if we, if we make a platform the whole way along. Gonna be pretty sweet actually. And then we don't have to worry about walking in the lava and stuff either. Too much. I probably should have thought this thought ahead a little bit more and um, brought some more wood though. Go kill my pretties. Okay, we're, we're pretty much out of wood there. Um, got a few coins to pick up here. How much time have we got left on our buffs? Let's have a look. We've got water walking two minutes, obsidian skin one minute. Okay, we got a little bit of time then. Um, is this, this is, uh... Uh, what's this? Go guide Voodoo Doll. Oh, we got some Fire Blossom Seeds. Nice! I can plant my own Fire Blossoms now. That's pretty sweet. I I'm getting worried here. I'm, I'm just going to get rid of the coins that I've got on me. Real quick. Kill all the things. 
Um, okay, so I guess late afternoon is when those things bloom. Which is interesting. There's another one over here. Yeah, it looks like they're all blooming right now. Pretty cool. So I should be able to get me some, uh, some seeds. All of these. Uh, let's just refresh our potions. Just gonna head back over here. Uh, let's see. Obsidian skin. And we might head back in the other direction just for a little bit of an explore. I don't think I've got any more water walking, but it's not going to matter too much. It's not going to matter too much because, um, we're immune to fight to the lava right now. How many seeds have I got? Uh, where is it? And I need, I definitely need to get more Hellstone as well. Um, where are the seeds? Oh, there they are. Twelve. That's probably all I need. I'll just get this one as well. Then we'll be good. Pretty good to go. I wonder if these, um, underworld pots give you anything special. Just a regular healing potion. Might as well harvest these if we're just going to be walking past them. There's some, um, some hellstone right there, actually. Let's get, get some of this. I don't know if it's going to burn me this time. <laughs> Is it burning me? Uh, because we got the obsidian skin potion, <clears throat> I think that's protecting me right now. While I harvest this. Let's get this little corner up here. And all this goodness. How much time have I got left? Two minutes. Oh boy. Feel like Tarzan using these uh these things. It's pretty awesome actually. Oh crap. I have got my flying mount I could use, I guess. <gasps> Only got a minute left. Uh, let's just use another one. Oh, what the heck? What the heck is this thing? <laughs> What the heck is this thing? The wall of flesh has awakened? Ah, oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Uh... Oh crap. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like this. What have I done? Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, this is a bit of a problem here. I accidentally summoned this monster. This is pretty crazy, actually. I don't know how much else this thing, this thing has, but... Oh god, it's pretty powerful. Try and do some damage to it. Let's just zoom out a bit here. Oh god, why? Why? <laughs> Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Why? Oh god. Still got two minutes. <gasps> oh, why am I going down here? Oh no, 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 no. Oh. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm dead. Jim's plead for death was answered by the hungry. 
Holy crap, dudes! What the hell? <laughs> the wall of flesh! Oh man, that thing was insane! I think it chased us from about here all the way along. God damn! That was pretty crazy. Oh boy. Um, yeah. That was pretty crazy. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what we did to, uh, to spawn it in. Um, here's my sharpening station. Yeah, that was, that was definitely pretty crazy. But you know what, I, I kind of need to come back up to get some more um, wood anyway for platforms and whatnot. Just gonna make platforms galore out of this. Um, hmm. But I can plant these fire blossom seeds anyway, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm just going to plant them over here. Sweet. So now we've got fire blossom, shiver thorn. Deathweed, um, water leaf, blink, uh, blink, is it blink root? I think it's blink root. Have some here somewhere. Water leaf, blink root, yeah, it's blink root. <laughs> and moon glow, I think that is. So, yeah, quite, quite a good um, greenhouse selection, yeah going on. I don't know if we should go back down there if that's that thing's gonna be there waiting to kill me. <laughs> that's, that's probably not a good idea. You know what we might do uh, while we're waiting and hoping that that thing despawns is I might actually try and find some more floating sky islands we might actually fly to the edge of the map and just gradually work our way across and see if we can find some more sky islands. <clears throat> just waiting for this guy to get his breath back. Let's give him a rest. Just keep going in this direction. So it's not that far to the, um, to the ocean and then we'll come back and work our way methodically um, trying to locate, trying to locate Sky Islands, basically. We might be able to get pretty high off the top of these fishing crates. Oh, there's something over here. <laughs> Interesting. Probably just over here. Let's, let's test this out. Yeah, over this way. Let's go. Oh, it's right above. Look at this. Right above our uh, our village. Sweet. Let's see what we get in this one. Uh, red sh rash shiny balloon increases jump height. I've already got something like that. A puffer fish thing. Um, but yeah, okay, I'll take it. Um, what else have we got? Some bombs, potions. I'll grab that, I'll grab the furniture, and I'll grab the door. And, uh, we'll probably have to put some of this in the piggy bank. Please don't kill me while I'm doing this, that'd be really nice. Um, ouch. I wonder if I should lower a rope from these things. I get because I can just fly up with my uh, 
with my B, my B mount right now. I don't think I really need to anymore. Probably not necessary. Guide Voodoo Doll, you are a terrible person. Oh, Harley the Guide has arrived. Interesting. I wonder what he does. Uh, Alright, I'll grab that. Should I take these banners? I don't know if I've got the sun banner. I've, I've got the world banner already. Hellbat. Hellbat banner. Oh boy. Alright, that's pretty cool. I wonder if we should get some of this block. I don't know what I would do with it though. It looks it does look pretty cool. Anyway, um, so we know that there's another sky island here. I would guess that they're spaced out. There's probably there's probably another one over here, is would be my guess. Just based on how the other ones are spaced out, I could be completely wrong though. We'll fly over here as far as we can until we start falling. Okay, well, there, there wasn't one right there, but there might be another one over in this direction somewhere. Or not. <laughs> I can't hear any impacts over there. Alright, let's just check up here. Probably should have checked. Let's just go up as fast as we can here. I'm not really seeing anything over in... Oh, there's one right there. Can we make it? It's got... It's actually got trees. Interesting. And I think this is a new banner right here. Gravity. Oh no, I do have that one. We've got an annoying Star Fury, so obviously we already have a Star Fury, but that's Ruby, I guess. We can sell it. Hopefully they sell for some good money. Uh, what else do we get? I'll get the chest, I'll get the furniture, the usual stuff. Um, and then I'll grab the door as well, so why not? Kill all these harpies. Grab the feathers. Not sure what we can do with the feathers. Okay, so this is our fifth sky island, which is pretty crazy. Let's go in this direction, see if we can find another one. Ah, there's something over there. Interesting. Let's see what's up here. Oh, it's another sky lake. Interesting. Pretty cool. These don't really have any loot though. As far as I can tell. Unless there's something underwater here. Place a torch there, but it's not working. <laughs> anyway, we know that we've got two sky lakes, 
and we've got this one, and we've got three, four floating islands so far, and just this little bit of the map left. Let's see what's over here. Oh, this is where the meteor is right here. Interesting. So I wonder if, because we've got the obsidian skull, I wonder if we can stand on this now without taking damage. It looks like we can. So I can actually, I can actually uh, mine all this out by hand without taking damage. Here come the meteorite heads though. <laughs> yeah, this could take a while. I think it's easier to use bombs, to be honest. Um, so I might come back and mine this out later. Before I get swarmed by meteorite heads. Although we've probably crafted most of the things that we want to make with the meteorite right now, but it might come in handy later on in the game, I don't know. Well, I'm going to push on to the uh, western edge of the map and see if there's any more sky islands to be found. Um, but I'll catch up with you guys in the next episode. This is where we'll leave it for today because we are running a little bit long. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.